So I've got a video card that, um, that's not working and I want to try and fix it because it's a decent card. NVIDIA GTX 275. Here it is. Try and get a good, uh, good look at it. There it is. GTX 275. It's not working. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and cook it and we'll see what if we get any results from um, cooking it. So okay let's get it ready. So here we are in the kitchen. I'm going to put the main oven onto gas mark 6. That's 385 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to cook it somewhere between 10 to 12 minutes on gas mark 6. So what you've got to do is preheat your oven so that it's hot when you put it in. Put it in on the middle shelf. Now you can't just put the card on the um, baking tray because it touches. What you've got to do is get your card and with the foil make like four balls four balls of foil at one two three four so your four balls of foil and you've got to balance the card so it's a bit hard to do this with the camera so I'll be back right so I managed to uh, balance the card on the tray ready to go in the oven and um, I didn't need four balls of foil. This end of the card holds it up there. And then it just balances with one ball of foil down this end. So I can pick that tray up and put it in the oven, which is on gas mark 6. I'm going to put it for 10 to 12 minutes. Gas mark 6. But well, first I'm waiting for the oven. So which is going to have to heat up. I'm going to fill 10 to 12 minutes. I think I'm going to do 10 minutes. And I'm going to put it in the oven. Gas mark 6. So here we go. Open up the oven. Put it in. There. Can you see it? In it goes, gas mark 6, and start. So now, I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes. So we're about a minute in, and um, God only knows how this is going to turn out. It's not focusing, but a minute and a half. So hopefully this will turn out for the best. I'll be back. Right, so... It's been 9 minutes and 48 seconds. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Okay, so it was on gas mark 6. Turning off. Turning off and up in the oven. And just hope. Just hope that everything's okay. Here we go. very hot, the tree's hot for this cloth I've got, so, I'm gone, right, bringing the tree out now, I've got to, right, I've got the tree here, put it down on there, and there is the graphics card, it's come out, you can hear it sizzling. So we'll have to hope. Let's have a look underneath. Nothing's dropped off it. I got scared when it came out. I saw those two black Wait. blobs there. And there must be some rubbish that was on the tray before. It's not off the card. Because I've used this before for other cards. So the card you can see looks fine. What I'm going to do now is wait about 30 minutes 
for the card to cool down and then I'll give you a proper look around the card when it's cool right so it's been nearly half an hour I think it's time to check out what's happened to the GPU so here we go there's a foil that was holding it up in the baking tray and then um, wow see if I can get us in for a look looks pretty decent I'm looking for damage can't see any it's not even melted the plastic um, the plastic bit for the fan wow it's in one piece ok then peeps what we'll do is we'll now um, take this and put a temporary heat sink on and um, try it and I'll let you know what the result right so here's the card we just cooked now. and um, what I'm going to do is because I used it with water cooling uh, so I haven't got the original cooler so I'm going to do just to test it is I've got this heat sink here might look like just a small heat sink what I'm going to do just, just as a test I'm just going to heat sink this small heat sink to the card like that bang it in the computer and see if it works so that's the next job ok I'll be back ok so we've got some thermal goo just to test so it doesn't have to be too specific bit of uh, thermal goo there Oops. bit of a mess on the floor so we've got our thermal goop there and uh, you just have to excuse me I've only got one pair of hands uh, what I'm going to do is get hold of the heat sink push the heat sink off now what I'm using here is a tie wrap just to hold the heat sink in place which I'll show you in a minute ok there we go you see that? there you go, there's the card and I've tie wrap I'll tighten it in a minute but a heat sink on there okay. which I know it won't be enough for a permanent use but it'll be enough just to see if we've got a display it's actually very nicely seated, can you see? actually no gaps I'm holding it up to the light, there's no gaps between the chip and the uh, heat sink. So let me just get that fastened on there and um, then we'll test the card, see what we can get out of it. See if this cooking thing is going to work or not with this card. So it is card and heat sink. Working.